Yes, I'm Jermani from Blog Talk Hollywood and Eagle News International. How are you today, Sina? I'm good, MJ. I'm glad I can hear you finally. Yes, you, you look fashionable, by the way. Oh, thank you. I try. One can only try. Yes, yes. And let's get right to it. And I really love your character as a great singleton. And how how did you uh, internalize your character as a midwife in uh, Phoenix Positive? I mean, in terms of how I internalized, I didn't think of her so much as a midwife, as someone who provides knowledge and comfort and guidance. Comfort and guidance. But she's also, at the end of the day, she is a person who is good at her job and she doesn't tolerate fools gladly. And she will set you straight if you speak, if you misspoke. If you misspeak and you come at her from a wrong place, she will tell you about yourself in no short order. So love that about her. She's very grounded and straight to the point. Yeah, I really love that because it kind of adds a culture uh, with the show, with the film. And how how did you find out about this uh, character? Did you audition online? This is uh, pre-COVID or yes, we, sh we shot this pre-COVID. So I did did do an in-person audition sent the script, asked if I would be interested in reading for it. And so I went in and uh, <laughs> I think that was the last year we were doing in-person auditions or, or even just meetings. So it was, um, I really cherish it now. I miss that so much, you know, as much as we used to hate going in and all that, and it was nerve wracking, but at least with the director there, you know, they give you a guide, they, they give you a path as to what they're looking for. And so a lot of the, the meetings and auditions online right now, you're basically just like fumbling in the dark and hoping you're on the right path because you have no one to tell you what you're doing, basically. <laughs> so we it's miss awesome. those days, those in-person days, you know. Yeah, I know. Um, anyhow, wh what is your transition like? Imagine from you're doing Broadway and then now you're doing film. Can you give us some contrast on that? Um, the whole thing with doing film, I mean, we miss all of us who come from a theatre background. We really miss that live connection between the audience and the, the story you're telling. It's happening in real time, you know, it's happening, you know, and there's a continuity and, you know, you can hear, you know, every performance is different from day to day. You know, you can hear the, just the way people breathe or don't breathe in the theatre. And um, the TV and film, it's much more intimate. You don't have to do so much physically, you know, because it's all in your face and it's in your thoughts and it's in your eyes. But um, we do miss that live connection one-on-one -on -one with the audience, you know? So, ah, I can't wait for those days, but I love both mediums, you know? I love, yes, being, I love doing TV and film as well as live shows. Yes, have you heard that um, the Great White Way will open up on September 14th? I have heard that. I have heard that. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. I have so many friends who were in shows on Broadway that, you know, just stopped midway. And I thought, I haven't been to see you yet. I'm so sorry, darling. So I can't wait for it to happen. Yes, uh, that's well said. Well, when you found out that the the uh, James Bond, Pierce Brosnan will be part of this false positive. What was your reaction like? Uh, um, I was really, really just, first of all, gobsmacked, as we say in England. I was gobsmacked, darling, absolutely gobsmacked, gobsmacked. Just because I thought, oh, I love Pierce Brosnan in everything, not just as Bond, but even the Mamma Mia movies. The man can sing, he can dance, he can do almost everything. Loved him and he's such a gentleman. And also, you know, the rest of the cast too. There's Justin Theroux and there's Josh Hamilton. And I also really got a thrill about the fact that there were so many theater people there as well. Like people I've seen on stage in New York, like Josh Hamilton, like Gretchen Moore. I was super thrilled about the fact that I got to share um, a screen or at least be in a project with them. And it was a beautiful, big, large cast, you know. Yeah, that's, that, that's amazing. So what can you say? I know um, there's so many things going on around us. Um, well, as a, a you know, woman of color, what, what advice can you give to those who want to, you know, get into the industry? Oh my God. 
The only advice is so interesting. Somebody put, a friend of mine put, placed, placed something on Instagram yesterday talking about what she'd been through. She's a playwright and a, an actor as well, as well. And, you know, she was talking about her first headshot and how much it costs so much money to do. And she used that. She couldn't afford a photographer. She had to do it herself. And then each, each print was 250. And then you go to an audition, you're not sure they'll even, they'll just go it in the bin. And, you know, but just hanging in there, it's a journey. You, Cause it's not a marathon. I mean, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. It's a journey. And you have to remember to enjoy the journey. Every step you are gets you one step closer, but you have the, the tenacity it takes is the most important thing. You have to have that stick to itiveness for yourself. You have to have that, want this more than anything and be tenacious and be patient with yourself, but also do good work. Look, for, look, seek out good work, strong work, strong, strong writing that tells you something about yourself. You learn something about yourself, you know, because it makes you a better artist, you know, the more you open yourself to learning. And then, you know, be in there because you enjoy telling stories. Yes, that, that's well said. And you know, um, how is that like every time you play that character? Do you have to emerge yourself, or do you? Uh, how do you? How do you do that to make it uh, worth it? Like storytelling. Do you have to go out of your way for that? Um, it depends on the role. With this one, I did not have to go out of my way too far just because I come from a family where there are a lot of medical people in my family, a lot of doctors and OBGYNs. So it's, um, I've been around, I, I have them, I've never really thought about the profession. I just took it for granted. But I feel like it wasn't so alien to me, even though it's like the first time I was stepping into that character, that profession's shoes. I didn't have to. It wasn't a torturous journey, you know, it was just like the, the words are there on the page, the writers have found it and you just have to like react to whoever you're in your, the scene with and it gives the person a roundedness. That, that's well said, uh, Saida. And I know we are almost sort of kind of back to normal, you know, in, in the US, especially in LA. And what is the first thing that you're going to do? Let's say, what is your destination? Where are you gonna go? I really, really want to go to the Seychelles on holiday or the Maldives. I just want to go on a tropical holiday or the Maldives or or the Philippines somewhere really, really, to, um, you know, just tropical and different, completely different to anything I, I know uh, or have experienced. And on short of that, I just saw a big house party with all the people I haven't seen in so long and hung out with. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm going to give you a little bit trivia of the Philippines uh, because this, this is the city in the Philippines. So um, say mabuhay meaning hello, meaning mahal kita, I love you. Mm -hmm. You want me to say it? Yeah, say it mabuhay. Ay kanu mabuhay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know what? Listen. Mahal kita. Mahal kita. Mahal kita, meaning I love you. Mahal kita. Wow, that's You great. know what? Thank you for that because my mother-in-law is Filipino. She's wow. She's going to teach it to me for years. I know just one or two things. <laughs> there you go. So, yeah. well, thank you so much for your precious time. Sign up, Ja, and um, wishing you well. And cannot wait to see you more in any films and yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, nice to meet you, MJ. Yes. yes. Mabuhay. 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 <laughs> yes.